I was just uh, praying a whole lot today. It's so cold. It's so, so cold. Um, I don't think I've ever been this cold in my whole life. And I have, uh, I have uh, electric, I, and God protected me somehow. But um, as I was praying, the Lord showed me the other day whenever about these eagles. And this is the vision of Obadiah. There's a man who, who goes around, and I, I, the Holy Spirit showed me him actually going up to these people and telling them lies. Like one of the lies he just told people recently is that I hoard cats. I have two cats and only have had two cats for four years. This vision was for him in my life. He sets himself up to be like some kind of eagle. He even puts eagles on some of his um, thumbnails. And you'll see it, you know, interlaced in his videos. So he makes himself look like an eagle. And what he's doing is, is he's going to each of these people who claim they're Christians. Like this one guy, he just cusses all throughout his videos. He'll sit and cuss with his Bible wide open. I mean, saying BS. He'll even say GD. And that's one I hate. I mean, so I'm not really worried. Pretty much anybody who watches it gets turned off pretty quick. And we turn it off. Real Christians are just just cut it off but he's able to get to people like that i know there's one guy who's i think his channel's name is probably nobody knows him but it's coming storm and there's so many of them you probably never find it anyway i was shown that i, I believe that he was one of the ones that he went and, and did this to the point is is the people that he goes and, and talks this crap about just talk, just talks crap about me about they're they're going to be a part of it Judgment is up on our land. It's all over. There's no doubt about it. And Obadiah. It's about an eagle person who, make, you know, they make themselves look like they're an eagle. And they try to, uh, they try to destroy God's real people. And they set themselves up loftily, up high, over God's people to destroy them. And this was for him. You won't destroy me. You won't destroy God's people. You can go around gossiping about us and saying all these horrible things. This guy even steals. He steals a, he stole a dream that I gave to my mother privately. He stole it right from the text and went and made his own interpretation video of it interlaced with filthy ads to make money off of it. I want you to know I know who you are. The Holy Spirit knows who you are. We've seen uh, the Holy Spirit show me. So you can keep on doing this, but I'll assure you that this prophecy is real. It's going to happen. It'll come true. And you didn't get by with anything. So I'm going to read Obadiah. The vision of Obadiah. Thus saith the Lord God concerning Edom. We've heard a rumor from the Lord, and an ambassador is sent among the heathen. Arise ye, and let us, let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made three small, three small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee. Thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, who shall bring me to the ground. And I believe this guy says the same thing. He truly believes he can keep doing to God's people whatever he wants and, and take it and steal something I give to my mom and, and put ads all the way through it and steal everything. He steals everything and he thinks he's okay to do it. But I've seen people like him before and I've seen God bring judgment on him and I wonder how God would ever do it. There's a man who just died recently is about as bad, it may be worse, but about as bad, I don't know. They're probably about equal. And I've seen God t take his life. He's not alive anymore. He's like Psalm 37, that green bay tree, who seems like they're just overpowering and big and nothing can take him down. But he's dead now. God took his life. And he, I don't think he ever did repent. But it says, going on to verse 4, 
though thou exalt thyself as the eagle. You see that? They try to pretend like they're eagles. And, and this person has always used eagles as one of uh, something to mark himself with. And I wonder why God gave me Obadiah. Because I hadn't asked God for this. I was always just instructed to keep quiet. Because I was shown all that he was doing behind the scenes. And of course I could see what he was doing right in front of my face. So I just knew that he blatantly was taking his fist and putting it up in God's face. It used to be a lot of people would talk about this guy. He even got thrown off of the internet, off of his YouTube, but lost his whole page. But uh, people used to just be very, extremely alarmed. He doesn't do it so bad. He's learned not to be so open about teaching the sheep extreme misdirection. But he used to teach them extreme misdirection and he got his channel stripped down and everybody used to warn each other about this person who makes himself and surrounds himself with with his little channel that looks like you know eagles because they used to know now he's gotten a little bit craftier you see that's all just craftier so i'm, I'm gonna go back to the third he's got this right here the pride of thine heart hath deceived thee Thou that dwellest in the cliff, clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, though thou set thy, thy nest among the stars, thence I will bring thee down, saith the Lord. If, if thieves came to thee, if robbers by night, how art thou cut off? Would they not have stolen till they had enough? If the grape gatherers come, came to thee, and they, would they not leave some grapes? I love this, this next part. It talks about Esau, people who sell out their birthrights because they don't care about God. They don't care about making it to heaven. It's not even in them. They just talk it to fit in or to... Uh, I, I'm not sure with this person what the what the reason is, other than he's a tear. How are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? All men of thy confederacy have brought these even to the border. Men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread have laid a wound under thee, and there is none understanding in him. Shall I not in that day, saith the Lord, even destroy the wise men out of Eden, Edom and the understanding out of the Mount of Esau? So they may look like an eagle, but they're in the Mount of Esau. You better watch who you take lies from. Coming up and, and just telling all kinds of lies. Just anything. Like the hoarding, like me hoarding cats. Just anything to destroy another human being. You know, the same thing, I went for years. And the people who tried to kill me, the drug dealers, who, who tried to take my life, I couldn't ever prove it. And then right there, some I, I fasted 21 days. And right there on the news, all of the state of Kentucky seen it on every news channel, the big news channels. Boy, the whole state could see it. There was no denying it. They'd all got busted. Every one of them, they got busted. They got busted. There they were trafficking drugs. And they, everyone got busted in her family of the people that tried to take my life. Then two of her brothers died. One of them, I don't know what he died from, but probably the same as the other, drug overdose. And for years, I had to just keep my mouth shut as they were able to take my daughter and drag her into the occult and I believe they I believe they put the fear in her that she would do whatever they say because they're scary people and I believe she just went along with it because she probably didn't know how else to deal with it 
and I watched as those people got by with it. And my ex-husband went with this woman and these people and how they have brought so much destruction on this family, putting my children in danger, in dangerous places with dangerous people. And how many people lied and lied and lied and lied. For years I had to hear John say, even after his girlfriend was picked up for trafficking and drugs, they caught her and she's on the jail tracker also for robbing her own grandmother. Um, these things I can prove. But yet this guy goes around and tells people I'm lying and that the man that I say this about is a loving husband. The day he left me, the Lord instructed me what to do. I'm going to tell you something. The Lord could even make your enemies do the right thing by you. Because he did for me, a man who tried to kill me with his girlfriend, to put my children in danger. That, that, that is God. But God, that's those one of those moments. But God, I should have starved to death. I should have been dead many times over. But God, it was God who took care of me. He was the one. He's the one who can make even your enemies take care of you. But this man will go around and tell people, the very man who brought these evil people into our lives, who stays drunk, so drunk while my daughter was raped, right not even 10 feet from him. The loving husband and father, right? Bringing all these people upon my family to harm us. And now I'm standing up. I have another family member coming. Somebody has to stand up with the Lord and say it's enough. I want my next generation protected. But this man goes around and gossips about me. So I'm completely ostracized. I'm, I'm completely ostracized. Do you know what it feels like to be cold all winter now? Because I've been cold all winter long now. Do you know how that feels? Because it's all over the land now. It, you, you get to feel what the homeless feel like. What it feels like to be ostracized. And, not, and have people gossip about you. About things that are completely out of your control. God has a way of evening things out. He has a way. Now you understand what it feels like to be cold. Like some of us have been cold all winter. And then we get talked about on top of it. But then back to the one who makes himself look like an eagle. Has eagles all over his uh, YouTube page. I have, I, I have been given freedom to talk about this now. For a long time I was kept quiet. But now I will talk. And the mighty men. I'm going to verse 9. And the mighty men, O Teman, shall be dismayed. To the end that everyone of the Mount of Esau may be cut off by slaughter. For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. It's the same old battle. Esau against Jacob. Esau always wants to destroy Jacob, God's true children. Esau always comes looking like an eagle. Looking like he's an eagle sitting up there at Mount Esau. And you can go on and read all through this, but I'm telling you the whole point of what God has shown me. is a, It's a book I don't even read. But the point is, is he's at Esau. He's sitting up at Mount Esau. And God saw you up there in your loftily places. And he showed me a long time ago what you say in boxes behind my back. You only thought you got by with it. You only thought you got by with it. And now I leave it to God. It's up to him what he decides to do. But you enjoy your lofty, lofty place up there at Mount Esau. False eagle man.